looking around online at natural swim ponds, you're going to find a lot of places, a lot of people building them a lot of different ways. And you know what what we're doing in a piece together is one way that through a lot of um, trial and error with this pond being built for several years and seeing what works and what doesn't, we've figured out a few things that make it as user friendly as possible. You know, original swim ponds out of Europe were basically a big line pond and a very large area packed full of plants with no mechanics, no pumps, no external filters, anything along these lines. And the plants are enough to keep the water clear and algae free. Uh, you're going to experience swimming much like in a natural pond or stream though when you kick up the bottom you're going to kick up sediment and you're going to see a lot of cloudy dusty stuff you're swimming in much like at a beach it's not going to be crystal clear top to bottom you're not going to see it to the bottom of six feet deep on the opposite end of the spectrum we're not building this way at least not yet but out of Europe you're seeing some that are very highly mechanized much like a conventional swimming pool with the look of it and the external filters or wetland areas can be completely separate and you look around you'll see lots of pictures like that online what we're doing is somewhere in the middle it's looking much like a natural pond um, however it does have some external components pumps piping filters in order to keep this clean and an experience that is not quite like a swimming pool it's not going to be that crystal clean as far as what's floating around with you but it's not like you can't see your toes. <laughs>